Hey, here we go, folks. Directly into the action. This is Ken, and I'm bringing you a trip from last Monday, May 18th, 2020. Quarantine fishing aboard the Togzilla. And today I have as my guest a childhood friend, basically. Um, we grew up in College Point together, or had many friends in the same circles, and uh, hung out in the parks and so on many times. Uh, my old friend Brian Odell is with me today, and it just so happens that Brian's two favorite fish in the world, or maybe three, um, bluefish and porgies, and of course, he loves striped bass. So here, you see he jigged the striped bass, and he's about to flip the little guy back. And in the next frame, he gets a bluefish. Now me, all I could jig on this particular day was one sea robin after another on my gummy shad. Unfortunately, the jigging quality today on this trip is nothing like it was on May 7th with uh, Anthony on board. That was a heck of a trip with the bass action. Um, unfortunately, I haven't run into it that hot and heavy again since. Um, this is only my third trip aboard Togzilla for May of 2020. And um, the goal today was really to fill a box with porgies because uh, Brian loves porgy fishing. And the Peconic Bay has some of the best porgy fishing around to offer, basically. So uh, stick with us, and we're going to show you some porgy action. Barely had a walk in the way. So you're going to see throughout this trip that the porgy action was really solid. Um, we did have some lulls in the action and um, by the end of the day uh, it did slow down a lot so we picked up the anchor and did a couple of drifts to finally round out our limit and uh, throughout the course of the day uh, between Brian and I, we caught about a half dozen nice keeper sea bass, and they're out of season. So, naturally, they get thrown back, and it's really heartbreaking because there's so many of these fish around, and they really, um, they're ferocious feeders. They eat everything. They're killing all kinds of lobsters. They eat like tons of baby lobster. Um, it's just a crime that we're not able to keep these sea bass. They're so delicious and uh, we just love them. But anyway, uh, yeah, so really solid porgy action all day. You see us uh, swinging up uh, one and then... Uh, if Brian's swinging one up, I'm swinging one up right behind him or the other way around. Uh, yep, so we fill that box, that cooler that you just saw Brian lift the lid. Here comes another sea bass. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, just to mention, uh, after we wrapped up the porgy fishing, 
we did go and do several fluke drifts as well. And the fluking hasn't been great, at least not for me. I haven't found a good biomass of fluke yet. I picked uh, a, a short myself last week, and Brian had a short fluke this week. And that's been it for me so far. So uh, I'm heading out again tomorrow. Wish me luck. Hoping for the best. Oh, one fell off. The bigger one fell off, of course. This one's still an eater. I'll put him in the timeout for now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Bigger than the last one. Wow. Beautiful. Oops. Sorry about that. It's okay. That one's a height. All right, folks, that's it. It's another wrap. Another good trip in the Peconic Bay. Another big box of porgies up to 18 inches. Great day with my good old childhood buddy from the neighborhood, Brian O'Dell. And um, I'll be getting out later in the week as the forecast is looking good. I'll keep you guys posted. Tight lines and everybody stay healthy and well.